Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing three dimension geometry and this is the lecture number five. I hope you have already watched part one to part four before watching part five. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some miscellaneous problems related to three dimension geometry. So, let us start with some miscellaneous problems uh, on exercise 12. So, miscellaneous exercise on problems on exercise 12 miscellaneous problems on exercise 12 problems on exercise 12, 12. so the very first question is here try to understand three vertices of parallelogram three vertices of parallelogram parallelogram gram a b c d r a b c d r a 3 minus 1 2 b 1 2 minus 4 and c minus 1 1 2 find the coordinate of fourth vertex find the coordinate of coordinate of fourth vertex fourth vertex right so the solution is like let us write solution parallelogram is like this a a b c d this is a parallelogram coordinates of a are given like 3 minus 1 2 3 minus 1 2 1 2 minus 4 c is given and coordinate of d is given like x y z since Diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. Diagonals of parallelograms, parallelograms, grams bisect each other, each other. Then midpoint of AC and BD are same. Then midpoint of AC is equal to midpoint of BD, midpoint of BD, BD, isn't it? So now midpoint of AC can be calculated as 3 plus minus 1 by 2 comma minus 1 plus 1 by 2 comma 2 plus 2 by 2 and therefore and this is 1 plus x by 2 comma 2 plus y by 2 2 plus y by 2 comma z minus 4 by 2 so therefore using this we have 3 minus 1 2 by 2 2 by 2 is 1 1 is equal to 1 plus x by 2 right and therefore this is 3 minus 2 2 by 2 x plus 1 is equal to 2 and therefore x is equal to 1 also 0 is equal to 2 plus y by 2 this employee 2 plus y is equal to 2 and therefore y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 y coordinate is 0 and z coordinate is what that is uh, z coordinate is 2 plus 2 4 by 2 is 2 is equal to z minus 4 by 2 this employee 4 is equal to z minus 4 and this employee z is equal to 8 so the code fourth coordinate therefore the coordinate of coordinate of fourth vertex fourth vertex vertices vertex D 
x y z is b one zero eight. That would be answer. I hope you got it. Okay. So this is first question. Now we are looking for second question. So second question. What is second question? And second question. Find the length of median of triangle. Find the length of median of triangle. Median of triangle. Triangle with vertices. With vertices. A zero zero six six B zero four zero and C six zero zero solution right so there is a triangle say like uh, this This is a triangle A, B, and C. Medians are given by A. Median age, this is AD. The second median age, like BE. And the third median age, like CF. So, and third median age, CF. Enter. So this is C. So medians are like A, B, C. Okay. Now this is A, B, B, and C. F. This is C, F, E, and this is D. So coordinate of since coordinate of this is. coordinate of since the coordinate of this edge coordinate this edge medians because it divides in two equal parts this one this two is equal to this two and this three is equal to this one so d e f let d e f are the mean points of the midpoints of sides BC, sides BC, CA, and AB, respectively. Now, coordinate of D is equal to, therefore, coordinate of D is given by coordinate of D is given by given by what so d is b is 0 4 0 and that is c is 6 0 0 and a is 0 0 6 so b is 0 plus 6 by 2 4 plus 0 by 2 and 0 plus 0 by 2 that is 3 and 2 0. So coordinate of D is 3 2 0. Now a length of a D therefore length of length of a D is given by using distance formula and that will be 3 minus 0 whole square plus 2 minus 0 whole square plus 0 minus 6 whole square that is 9 plus 4 plus 36 is equal to under root 49 is equal to 7. So AD is 7. Similarly, B is similarly coordinate of B is coordinate of E is given by by what coordinate of E will be decided by E is 0 plus 6, 0 plus 0 and 6 plus 0. 0 plus 6 by 2, 
0 plus 0 by 2 and 6 plus 0 by 2 that is e is equal to 3 0 and 3 so length of therefore length of pe is median pe is given by under root 3 minus h what b is 0 for 0 so 3 minus 0 whole square plus 0 minus 4 whole square plus 3 minus 0 whole square that is 9 plus 16 plus 9 25 plus 9 is under root 34 now coordinate of f is given by coordinate of f is given by what f f is this point so 0 plus 0 4 and 6 plus 0 that is 0 plus 0 by 2 4 plus 0 by 2 and 0 plus 6 by 2 isn't it so four. that is f is equal to f is 0 2 and 3 now length of therefore length of cf median age under root what is equal to under root cf c age 6 6 minus 0 whole square plus 2 minus 0 whole square plus 3 minus 0 whole square is equal to 36 plus 9 plus 4 is equal to 49 that is 7 again so length of cf is 7 i hope you got it okay so this is all about this question length of medians are like this here so length of medians length of medians are 7 root 34 and 7 respectively okay now uh, next question that is question number 3 and question number 3 is here <coughs> if the origin of if the origin is the centroid of a triangle PQR if the origin is origin is the centroid of triangle PQR PQR <coughs> with vertices with vertices P two way two way two six Q minus four three B minus 10 and R R is 8 14 and 2 C find the value of A B C find the value of A B C now remember this we can deal with this question like solution remember this point if x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 and x3 y3 z3 are the vertices of a triangle vertices of a triangle then coordinate of centroid is given by coordinate of centroid is given by age given by by x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 and z1 plus z2 plus z3 by 3 this is the coordinate of centroid now here the coordinate of centroid is 0 0 0 this is a b c so here 
A, B, and C is this. Centroid is G. And G is 0, 0, 0. Centroid is G. 0, 0, 0. Centroid is G. And that is 0, 0, 0. This is the coordinate given. A is given. The coordinate. What is the coordinate of A? That is 2A comma 2 comma 6. And B is nothing else but minus 4, 3B and minus 10. And C is nothing else but the coordinate of C is given as 8, 14, 8, 14 and 2C. Okay. So the coordinate of their 4, 0 is equal to using this fact 0 is equal to x1 plus x2 2 plus minus 4 plus 8 divided by 3. This employee x coordinate is like this. So 2a minus plus 4 is equal to 0, 2a is equal to minus 4 and a is equal to minus 2. b is given, b coordinate is also 0 is equal to x coordinate x y coordinate is given by y coordinate is given by what here x coordinate coordinate x coordinate x y z coordinate x y z is given by and y coordinate is 0 that is 2 plus 3b plus 14 by 3 this employee 3b is equal to minus 16 and b is equal to minus 16 by 3. Okay, so b is minus 16 by 3. b is minus 16 by 3. Okay, b is 3b is equal to minus 16 because 3 will come this side, it will be 0. So b is equal to Therefore, B is equal to minus 16 by 3. And Z coordinate is given by 0 is equal to, what is that? That is 6 plus minus 10 plus 2C by 3. That is 2C minus 4 is equal to 0 and C is equal to 2. So, therefore, A is solution. Solution A is minus 2. B is minus 16 by 3 and C is 2. That will be the answer. I hope you got it. Okay. Now, the next question is here question number 4. And question number 4 is find the coordinate of the point. Find the coordinate points of a point on y axis of a point on y axis which are at distance which are at distance which are at distance of five root two from the point from the point point P three minus two and five. So any point coordinate of point on y axis solution. Any point lie on y axis, any point Q let any point Q, y axis, so x coordinate 0, y coordinate is y and z coordinate is 0, be a point, let point Q, be is lies on y axis, is lies on B on y axis. So according to question, PQ is equal to 5 root 2. And therefore, PQ square is equal to 25 square 25, 5 root 2 square, that is 
50. So PQ square is equal to 50. PQ is what? PQ can be calculated as therefore 3 minus 0 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square and 5 minus 0 whole square is equal to 50. Isn't it? So we can do that. 5, 5 minus 0 whole square is this. So y plus 2 whole square is equal to 50 minus 5 square is 25 that will come this side negative and 3 square is 9. So it will be 16 only. So this means y plus 2 whole square is equal to 16 only. So y minus 2 y plus 2 therefore y plus 2 is equal to plus minus 4 and y is equal to minus 2 plus minus 4 therefore y is equal to either minus 6 or minus 2 plus 4 is 2 hence coordinates of points hence coordinate of point will be coordinates of points are there are two points that is minus 0 minus 6 0 that is 0 minus 6 0 and 0 2 0 answer now the next question that is question number 5 and fifth question is given here a point r with x coordinate a point r with x coordinate coordinate 4 lies on lies on the line segment joining lies on the line segment joining points joining points points P 2 minus 3 4 points 2 minus 3 4 2 minus 3 4 and Q 8 0 10 8 0 10 find the coordinate of point R find the coordinate of point R of point R right so here is the solution how to deal with this question PQ R so let uh, this is a line and line edge like this where P Q and R P is 2 minus 3 4 Q is 8, 0 and 10 points and R is something which x coordinate is 4, y, z, y coordinate. R with x coordinate 4 lies on this line segment. So let the divide in ratio k is to 1. R divides. So we can write solution as let R be 4yz divides pr pq in ratio k is to 1 ratio k is to 1 and therefore 4 is equal to 8k plus 2 divided by k plus 1 that is 8k plus 2 is equal to 4k plus 4 and therefore 4k is equal to what will happen 2 and therefore k is equal to 1 by 2 so ratio is k is 1 is to 2 so therefore ratio is k is to 1 that is 1 is to 2 required ratio therefore k is 1 by 2 it means r divides this employee r divides therefore R divides PQ internally internally in ratio 
इंटरनली इन रेशियो वो वन इज टू टू ठीक है ना वाई कोऑर्डिनेट इज गिवन बाय देयर फॉर वाई कोऑर्डिनेट इज गिवन बाय वाई कोऑर्डिनेट इज गिवन बाय कोट वाई कोऑर्डिनेट वन इज टू टू सो वन इनटू के इज वन वन इनटू जीरो प्लस टू इनटू माइनस थ्री वन इनटू जीरो प्लस टू इनटू माइनस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस टू वन इनटू वन इनटू जीरो प्लस टू इनटू माइनस थ्री टू इनटू माइनस थ्री सो दैट विल बी नथिंग एल्स जीरो प्लस माइनस सिक्स माइनस सिक्स बाय थ्री इज माइनस टू दैट इज माइनस टू which is minus 2 which is minus 2 okay and z coordinate is given by and z coordinate is given by coordinate is given by given by 1 is to 2 that is 1 into What? One into ten into two into four. One into ten plus two into four divided by one plus two. This employee J is equal to what will be that? Ten plus eight. Eighteen by three is equal to six. And therefore, coordinate of point R is point H. Point R will be. Four x coordinate is already given. Y coordinate minus two and z coordinate is six. That will be answer. I hope you got it. Now question number six. And what is this? Try to understand. If A and B be the points, if A and B be the points, points A and B be the points. Three, four, five. Three, four, five, and minus one, three, minus seven, respectively. Find the equation of the set of points. Find the equation of. the set of points set of points p points p such that such that pa square plus pb square is equal to k square where k is constant k is constant so we can write here solutions like let p x y z be any point any point then what will happen p a square that is x minus 3 whole square p a square plus y minus 4 whole square plus z minus 5 whole square plus p b a square is X plus one whole square plus y minus three whole square plus z plus seven whole square is equal to k square. That will give. If you simplify this, x square will be here coming from here and x square from here, so it will be two x square minus six x. 2x square, y square, y square, 2y square, and 2z square. Right now, z square, z square. Here it will be minus 6x and here plus 2x. So that will be minus 4x. Here minus 8y and here minus 6y. 8 and 6, 14. So minus 14y. Here it will be minus 10z. Here 14z. So that will be 4z. And There is nine plus sixteen, twenty-five plus twenty-five, fifty, and this is a 
49 plus 150 so 109 109 is equal to k square so this is the required set of points this is the equation so this is the required equation equation of set of points which will satisfy the condition which satisfy the condition which satisfy the condition right so hopefully you got it i i hope you understood each and every question and this is all about the three dimension geometry which you have to study in this class 11 more about three dimensional geometry has to study in class 12 and uh, that will be also important for the J examination in IIT. But till then, uh, for class 11, this is more than enough. Uh, you try to solve some more questions from the booklet which is given to you. And if there is any doubt, please ask. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.